judge y'all. No mercy. Trap New York shit. Y'all know what time it is, man. Um, I've seen an article that pissed me off today. Uh, one of the directors or producers from Capcom um, did an interview on IGN. And they were speaking on how Capcom turned down a collaboration project with Mortal Kombat. Why? Now, I, I understand why. Because, you know, I, I understand business. And um, I understand branding. You understand? Now, um, when you look back, right, at uh, Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, these were two of the biggest... They are two of the biggest fighting game franchises in video game history. You know, they two of the biggest, two of the oldest. Um, they originally came out around the same time. You know, I always remember going to laundromats in Harlem or arcades or whatever. You have to have a Street Fighter and a Mortal Kombat uh, machine. And you have to have both. You can't just have one. You know what I mean? It's people that like Street Fighter because of the... the I want to say just because of the, the animation and the graphics and stuff like that. It's a little more clean... You know, you got the fireballs and stuff like that. And people like Mortal Kombat because of the blood and gore. You know, the fatalities and things of that nature. Um, Street Fighter focuses a little bit more on martial arts as far as combos and, you know, stuff like that. You know, so they both have they, they, they pros and cons. They both have ways they similar and ways that they different. And they both appeal to two different types of people. So, um... I can understand, I would understand if either one turned down the collaboration just off the strength that Capcom has always been, like Street Fighter has always been a family friend, friendly franchise. The kids could play it, adults could play it, everybody could play it. You know, it's something for everybody. It's always had like a, um, like a teen rating. You know, whenever you see a, a Street Fighter game, it always got a teen rating on it. Mortal Kombat... Every single Mortal Kombat game has a mature rating because of the blood, the fatalities, the ripping of the bones and, you know, stuff like that. Like, you know, so in order for a collaboration to work, uh, Street Fighter would have to step into the mature realm. So you would have people like Ryu, Ken, Akuma, Bison and all these Chun-Li, Gao, Charlie. You would have to have all of them now doing fatalities. Or Mortal Kombat would have to step down into the Street Fighter realm and now no fatalities, no blood and gore, just straight up fighting from Mortal Kombat. You know, of course, they have certain fireballs and certain, you know, little animations. But, you know, what is what's the proper balance to make a perfect Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat game? You know, what do you do? As far as the fighting, what do you do as far as the story? You know, so it's one of those things that I honestly think would be very difficult to to pull off. Um, it would be a lot of push and pull on both sides. Like, in that developer room, oh my God, they'll be getting in the fist fights in that developer room, man. They'll be getting in the fist fights. It would be all kinds of bullshit trying to make that happen. You know, um, certain people will want certain things. Certain people will not want them. They want their own things. And then people on the other side, like, I, I kind of understand why that a Street Fighter Mortal Kombat game can't happen. You know, me, just as a fan of brands going to war, like, if you, in battle rap, you're a fan of uh people going at it, you know? So, anybody who will be watching this blog should be able to understand it. Let's keep it a buck. Y'all all, you on one side or the other. Either you're a Street Fighter fan or a Mortal Kombat fan or both. You understand? Every single person that's going to watch this blog. You feel me? So, you know, um, y'all should be able to understand why a collaboration won't work. Me, personally, I would have just loved to see it, man. I would have just loved to see it. But at the end of the day, I understand the process. I understand the work that will go into this. Um... A game like this would be years, 
Like, it, it would take years. Games take years to develop a lot of times. You know, and if you really want that perfect game with the right balance of stuff, but it's also beneficial for both brands, like, after the Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat clash, both brands have to be able to continue on afterwards with a certain image. You know, and something like that could potentially ruin the image of one of the brands, both of them, or, you know, something like that. So it's really hard. Um, You can't make a game like that and say, hey, let's have an option to turn off blood and fatalities, right? That, to create a, a game like that and say, I'm turning off blood and fatalities, you overall would have to create two games in one because you have to create a game that is going to be uh, with the blood and fatalities, and then you have to create a side of it that has a whole nother dynamic without that. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, I just, um, that's just one of the things I found that was interesting today. You know, um, as a fan of both, and I'm 31 years old, so I didn't see, you know, the growth of both franchises from, um, my first system was Sega Genesis. You understand? So, you know, um, I preferred uh, Street Fighter, but I had Mortal Kombat as a, you know, as a home thing. So, you know, um, I had Mortal Kombat 1 for Sega. I had, um, I skipped 2 and 3, honestly, because I was playing them in the arcade. So I didn't have, um, I didn't see reason to really get them uh, for the home, for the home console. Then I had um, Mortal Kombat 4 for... Mortal Kombat 4, was that PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2? It was one of them. You know, and um, I, did, I believe that was the last one I had. And then when I got my PlayStation 3, like the day I bought my PlayStation 3, I got Street Fighter 4. You know, and I, I was playing that. Um, I also got, uh, I've had X-Men vs. Street Fighter. I've had Marvel vs. Street Fighter. And this is the thing. Um, if you notice, Capcom doing crossover games with Marvel, Mortal Kombat doing crossover games with DC, you feel me? Like, you know, so they're finding that balance with other brands to do the crossover games, but, you know, I guess they just can't, with each other, it, it's just too much push and pull that, you know, would be happening in that room to make that happen. So, you know, like I said, I understand it. You know, I would love to see it, but... Listen, man, that, that should have taken 70 years to make. Like, for them to be able to really come to, like, a fine middle ground in regards to both brands, you know, that I think that would be difficult. You feel me? So, um, in the comments, just let's discuss it. Like, let me know what what y'all think. Do y'all, would y'all want to see this? Um, If y'all do want to see it, how do y'all think it can happen? You feel me? Like, what options and things like that do you think they could... Um, integrate into the game to actually make it make sense for both parties. You know, let's discuss it. You know, chop it up in the comments. I'll be in the comments seeing and responding and everything like that. And, um, yeah, just something I wanted to come and discuss. You know, something I've been around for. So, you know, something I wanted to speak on. So, you know, that's really it, man. No Mercy, Trap New York shit, no mercy TV com. Y'all already know what time it is. We out of here.